Welcome to another video post from the Salesforce Weekly team. This time we're looking back into our archives at one of our most popular posts, how to create roll-up summaries using Flow. It's had 42,000 views to date. So we're going to update this and give you a nice video. Let's jump into the org. Okay, so what do we have? So we have very sim simple setup. We've got project and expenses, so two custom objects. Nothing unusual there. Okay, now we're going to create a new project field. Now, we're looking for a roll-up summary field. Now, of course, it's disabled, and it's disabled because the relationship between expenses and project is not master detail. It's just a straight lookup. Hence why we need to create our own roll-up summary, for which we're going to use Flow. So let's jump across to Flow, and let's create a brand new Flow. load. Looking forward to the days when the flash interface is gone. Not far off now. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we want to find all of our expenses. So I'm just going to do what we call a fast lookup. Okay, I'm going to call this lookup expenses. All right. In the lookup field, I'm going to find my expense custom object. So I'm just going to type it in there and it will tell me what I need to know. Okay, so the first little thing to take note of here, expenses is related to the project, but not as a master detail. But in order to find all of the expenses for the project, in order to roll it up, we need to pass in a particular variable. So we need to make sure that we're looking at all the expenses for a particular project. All right. I'm going to say project equals, I'm going to create a new variable on the fly. I'm just going to call it var project ID. The input output, I'm going to change to input. Flash forward, process builder is going to be triggering this flow. So we need to make it ex exposed to that process. So for input, that means that we can set this value outside of here. The next Thing that I want to do is I want to store all of my expenses. So I've got a collection of expenses that I've just looked up. I'm simply going to call this expenses. All right. Oop, I'm going to type expenses in here. All right. So what else do I need? I want to sum up the amount. So I need to make sure that I've got the amount. So I'm just going to add my amount field there. Okay. Next, I want a loop. Let's drag a loop across. Okay, loop's quite clever. It allows me to iterate through a collection. So if you imagine the collection is a box, I'm going to take each expense out and count it. Obviously, that's very simplistic, but that's in essence what we're going to do. So we want to loop through our collection of expenses, taking each one out and see how many we've got. All right. So I'm going to call this count Expenses. Okay, so I'm going to loop through my expenses collection. All right, and I need to assign that to a single instance of my expense so that I can count it. All right, so I'm going to call this expense. I'm going to call this expense here. All right, so. We've got a collection, we've got expenses, and we're going to take each one out and put it in our expense variable. All right, I'm just going to go back and just stop, set this as my start element, and I'm just going to connect this up so that we can see the flow as we're going through. So the next thing is the clever bit. So we need to do the assignment. Okay, so what we're going to do in the assignment then, all right, is we're going to actually count each kettle up. We're going to sum up the total of expenses. So total sum, let's call this sum expenses, because that's what we're going to do. All right. OK, and I need to have a variable. And this is going to be a currency. I'm going to call this total expenses. OK. 
default value of zero. Okay, so that's my variable total expenses. So what I want to do is add the amount of each expense into that variable. Okay. All right, so I'm going to come down here, and if I just open it up and continue to open it up, we see that the amount is available for me. Okay, so let's say okay to that. Let's link this up. So I'm going to hit this triangle and link across to my assignment. Okay, and then I'm going to come back and link it to count. All right, so that will go through, that will loop through until there's no more expenses. So if there's three expenses, there's three expenses. If there's 10 expenses, it will continue to count through and sum up the total expenses. So what's next? So the last bit is let's do a record update. All right, so we want to update project. Okay, so the object that I'm going to update is called project. Okay, project record that I want to update. Think back, remember, I created a variable called project. Okay, so that tells us which project record we want to update. Now, we want to update total expenses. Let's have a look. Yes, I called the field expenses. All right, so let's put our total in there. So total expenses. All right, so let's click OK. Let's link that up. All right, so that's good. So that's the starting element. Come down here, we're going to loop through and count each expense, and we're going to sum it using our assignment, and then we're going to update the project record. So let's save that. Let's call this total expenses. So this is the auto launch flavor of a flow has no UI, so we're using it entirely for its backend logic. Let's close that. All right, let's activate that. And let's jump to processes, or process builder. Okay, brand new org. So let's call this total Expenses. It's going to be record changes. Okay, now I think that's just overlapped. Let's call this project total expenses. Let's put the word project in there. Perfect. All right, that's all good. So let's just select our project that's good. Um, our record that's going to trigger this, expenses. All right, we need to make sure that it fires every time a record is created or edited. Okay, we're not going to add any criteria here, we're just going to execute. So I'm just going to put just execute. All right, I'm just going to execute it. Okay, on the action type, we're going to call our flow. All right. Now, if yours isn't showing, it's probably because you didn't activate it. So if you remember, I activated it. So let's call this total expenses. Okay, and we need to set our input variable. Remember, I set that to input. So var project ID, I'm going to go field reference. All right. I'm going to jump up to the project, so expenses, project, and I'm going to find my ID, my record ID. 
and save that. Let's activate that. Confirm that. Okay, all right, so that's all good. So let's jump back into our test app. Go to our projects. Go to our project one. Now total expenses is blank. Of course, we haven't triggered it yet. We have an existing expense, which you see there, for £1,000. Let's add a new one for £500. Accommodation, total of expense, let's put that today. I'm going to hit save. All right. I'm going to hit refresh. Fortunately, you have to hit refresh. One of the nuances of flash, sorry, not nuances of lightning, should I say. Okay, so cool. There's our total, total expenses. Brilliant. Right, now let's stay true to the post. Now, of course, there are some gaps that we need to cover off. Processes can't trigger when things are deleted, but we can we can handle that. So how do we handle that? We handle that with another process. So I'm going to jump back into Flow. All right. Okay. Add that to flows. Here we are. Okay, so let's show you how to gracefully handle the deletion. So for that, we need another flow. Okay, I'm going to do a record delete. Okay, and let's just call this delete expenses. Our expense object. We just need the ID. Let's create a new variable on the fly for that. Let's call this expense ID. Now, don't forget, it must be input so that we can set it externally. I'm going to set this to be the starting one. All right. Now I'm going to call my flow, so you can call a flow from a flow, so as well as a process builder and a flow, you can call flows from flows. So I want to trigger my recalc total expenses. Okay. Just going to set a variable here, project ID. So that was a variable from that flow. And I'm just going to set that to a little dummy one here. Add that input as well. All right, perfect. Oh, the output, I'm just going to delete that, get rid of that, get rid of that. This really is bare bones. There's obviously a bit more that you can do, but I'm just trying to show you the concept. So that would be fine, but as you know, if you've done a lot of flows, if we were to run that, it's got nowhere to go after it's done its deletion. So I'm just going to be cheeky and just add a screen in here to say deleted successfully. Okay. All right, I'm just going to add some text, display a bit of text. Record deleted. Call this record deleted. All right. So I'm just going to end up there. Let's save this. Call this delete expenses. Okay. Close that down. 
activate that. Right, so that's the flow that needs a way to be triggered. So for that, we need to create a bare bones visual force page. We'll call this delete expenses. All right, and I'm just going to cut and paste this in here. Get rid of that. And that. Okay, so we're going to use the standard controller. So it's the expense object. The flow interview is called delete expenses. And we've got two parameters where we're going to set the variables. All right, in the flow, project ID and the expense ID. Let me save that. Perfect. On the expense object, I'm going to jump to the button. And I'm going to go to the delete one. And I'm going to go, I think the drop down and select my delete expense. Right. We're almost there. So let's go to here. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Let's go project. Project. Let's have a look at the related ones. Okay, so we've got two there. So let's delete the thousand one. So I'm going to click into that and I'm going to hit delete. All right. Now, obviously, you could take the user somewhere else, back to the project record, to another record, to the home dashboard. But for simplicity, I'm just displaying the message. All right. Perfect. Okay, I shouldn't have clicked finish there because it doesn't know where to go, but you get the picture. All right, so now let's go back to the project. Let's have a look. Total expenses 500. Brilliant. Let's just refresh this. There we go. So, in fact, I did delete that expense and it did update. Our total expenses. That's it. Hopefully that should get get those of you that continue to read the how to create roll-up summary post. That should give you a nice little video that you can step through and hopefully create your own. Good luck and all the best.